In this video, we're going to discuss the Nernst equation and how to use it. Uh, so the Nernst equation relates the cell potential of a reaction to Gibbs free energy. So the equation is shown here, delta G naught. So remember that in this case, this is shown as the uh, standard Gibbs free energy under standard conditions, right? And that's going to be equal to negative N F E naught. Okay, so the way this equation is shown, so F is Faraday's constant, that's 96.485 kilojoules per volt per mole. Uh, N is the number of moles of electrons transferred in the redox reaction. And then E naught is the uh, electric potential of the reaction. And then the naught in this case means, again, in their standard conditions. All right, so what uh, is important to note about this equation is that remember what, uh, think for a second, what sign should delta G be in order to be product favored, right? So delta G is negative when it's product favored, right? So notice that there's a sign change in this. So a spontaneous or a product favored reaction, all right, where delta G is negative means that E naught has to be positive. Faraday's constant doesn't change and the number of moles can only be positive. So that means the sign and the product uh, favorability of the reaction at standard conditions is completely dependent on the electric potential of the reaction. So that means a positive electric potential of the reaction is going to be spontaneous. And so that's important to know because if we're looking at two reductive half reactions, so half reactions are usually are almost always shown in the reductive, uh, shown as the reductive reaction, which means uh, the species is being reduced, is what I mean by that. So that means, in other words, an easy way to identify that is that the electrons are on the reactant side. Okay, so when these are these table. You see these long tables of uh, reduction potentials. You're always going to see the uh, electrons on the reactant side, and then the uh, reduction potential, as we call it, is going to be listed on the right. Okay. So in this case, we have two reductive half reactions. So we have reduction of nitrate to form nitrite. Okay. And then there's two protons involved in this, and water is formed as a product. Okay. Uh, in the second rea half reaction, we have NADP+, plus, which is a common um, co-substrate, cofactor uh, that is found in biological reactions. Okay, It's an electron transfer molecule that we'll discuss later in the course. Uh, but for now, all you need to know is that this is capable of uh, either taking up or uh, NADP+, plus is uh, capable of accepting electrons. Okay, So on the reactant side of this half reaction, NADP+, plus, uh, can take two electrons uh, and a proton and form NADPH. And so the reductive half reactions are shown here. All right. So what we need to do is we need to find the, uh, between these two, we need to figure out which one's the reductant and which one is the oxidant. Okay. So what that means is that we first have to balance the number of electrons on uh, both sides of the equation. But of course we can't do that because the electrons are both on the reactant side of the equation uh, between these two. So that means one of these has to be flipped. And so the easy way to decide this is look for the half reaction that has the more positive uh, or the higher uh, reduction potential. In this case, uh, that's the top row here where nitrate is reduced, uh, reduced to nitrate. Okay, so if we do that, then what that means is we're going to take the lower reaction and we're going to flip it around. Okay, so the uh, top reaction remains in the same order as it was uh, in the uh, in the top row here. So 0 0.420 volts. This looks exactly the same, but we flip the products in the reactants uh, for the second half reaction. So now NADPH is on the reactant side, and that's being converted to NADP plus, and two electrons are being released plus a proton. So note that what's important, that a very important thing here is that the sign of the half reduction potential for that second reaction has been flipped from negative to positive. Okay, so that's important in a second. So now we have a way of canceling out the electrons, uh, two electrons on the reactant side with two electrons on the product side. 
and then we can write what's left over that doesn't get canceled out into a uh, balanced redox equation where nitrate, NADPH, and two protons are on the reactant side, and nitrite and water are on the uh, are on the uh, product side. And so, actually, this should not be. So we're going to make a correction here. There's an issue because there are two protons on the reactant side of the top reaction, and there's a proton on the product side. So that means we have to cancel out one of these protons. So we're going to do that live here. Uh, let's get the pen. All right. And so we're going to cancel. We're going to cross out one of these protons on the products, or the only proton on the product side, and one of the uh, protons on the reactant side, and so this should be one proton, okay? So that should look like that, okay? So we canceled out, as you can see, we canceled those out, all right? So now we have the, let's go back to laser pointer, okay? So now we have the correct balance equation where nitrate plus NADPH and one proton are on the reactant side. And then there's nitrite and water on uh, the uh, product side. And so all we do now to get the overall reduction potential for the reaction is add these two uh, half reduction potentials together. So 0 0.420 volts plus 0 0.320 volts, and that's equal to 0 0.740 volts. All right. So that's how we get the reduction potential there. And just to identify what we have here, uh, now that we have this, we have an oxidant. And so the oxidant is going to be nitrate. And then NADPH is going to be the reductant. All right. And just make a mental note here, because on the next slide we'll need it, that this is a two-electron process. All right. So now what can we do with this? Now we can convert this to a free energy. All right. So we have a positive reduction potential uh, overall reduction potential for the entire reaction. All right, so that means that we should have a product favored reaction because remember, a positive reduction potential will give a negative uh, Gibbs free energy. And so we plug in our numbers. So delta G naught is equal to negative NFE. There's our Nernst equation. All right, we plug in our numbers. So N is the number of moles of electrons transferred. Remember, I asked you to make a mental note. That was a two electron transfer. So we plug in two here, we plug in Faraday's constant, which is 96,485 joules per volt per mole. So I converted this to joules um, in this case. So uh, you can also calculate that as kilojoules. And then here's our reduction potential that we calculated uh, with our reductive half reactions, right? Uh, so 0 0.740 volts, so that goes in here, volts cancels out, uh, and then when you do the math, you get negative 143,000 joules per mole or negative 143 kilojoules per mole, okay? And so remember that not, right, is at standard conditions, right? So what can we, what do we do with this if we're not at standard conditions, all right? So we can do something very similar to what we did uh, with Gibbs free energy, right, and non-standard conditions. So here's the full Nernst equation uh, where we start with delta G naught or delta G equals negative NFE. All right, and then we can use this relationship uh, that we saw earlier, where delta G uh, is related to the standard Gibbs free energy. All right, so we can figure out what delta G is at any condition instead of just at standard conditions. Uh, if temperature is changed or if the reactant or the product concentrations are different from standard conditions. And so delta G equals delta G naught plus RT ln of Q. So we can plug in for both of the delta G's negative NFE. All right, so notice that the E on the right-hand side has the not indicating standard conditions, whereas the E on the left does not uh, lacks that, uh, that symbol, uh, which indicates is that, we're, that reduction potential is not at standard conditions, okay? And then negative NFE equals negative NFE not plus RT ln of Q. We divide all the terms by negative n times f, and what we get is this final equation, 
uh, where E equals E naught minus RT over NF times ln of Q. And just as a reminder, remember that Q is the reaction quotient that we discussed uh, earlier uh, in our uh, lectures.